was. It was anonymous. He left me a snack basket in my office, and it included this little bar. And oh. I didn't bring a lunch today, so whoever you are, thank you. Appreciate you. You are nourishing my body and soul. Cool. Um, well, welcome back to the Soulcast. Thank you. To episode six this week. Wow, time is flying. Seriously. <clears throat> um, uh, and you know, it's just the two of us. I think that's a first. Yeah, I'm here for it. I'm into it. Oh, our first segment is a new one, but one that is going to carry us through for a while, which is the... This week, you'll notice that the cement has been poured for the foundational posts. Uh, yeah, so a return segment here. One, two, three. Black Bill looks like he's made his way all the way to Burt Lake, Michigan. Holy smokes. 49717. Wow. Look at that. Um, Pie got featured dog in this one, along with Keller, of course. Is it's it like, uh, like um, P.I. or Pie like the food? You know, given that it's the lynches, and it could go either way, actually, given that it's the lynches. Oh, next one, Keller. Looks like he went on a really nice bike, round, bike ride. Um, to go see some fall colors is what I see peeking out there in the background. Yeah, it looks so beautiful. I'm jealous. It, I know. R.I.P. in my life experiencing fall. You know. Oh, I'm sorry <laughs> to you for that. That's okay. I have the ocean now, so. Fair. Fair. I don't know that it evens out, but maybe it will. <laughs> um, on. Next one uh, is Flatbell uh, taking lots of precautions to not get wet. Or drown. Yeah, I didn't know that Phil was so safety conscious. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> apparently we're learning new things every day around here. <laughs> um, I wonder what lake that is, though, up in Michigan. Um, maybe it's Burt Lake. Because oh, right. Because Burt But it <laughs> also could be, you know, Lake Michigan. It could. Yeah, it might be a other beautiful Great Lakes. Let me just take this moment to give a brief plug to the Great Lakes. If you've never been to them and you just think they're like small lakes, you're sorely mistaken. They're like, you might as well be at the ocean. That's how big they are. That's what they look like. So um, please, next time, you know, like in 2026 when we can travel again, highly recommend a trip to the Great Lakes. Uh, last, last flat fill sighting here is um, the other sister, Catherine. Um, Lynch and uh, she looks like she might be feeling a little bit awkward sitting next to the dry and safe flat fill. Yeah, because it looks like she had to give up her own life preserver to oh, flat fill, which good might point. make me feel a little awkward as well. Good point, yeah. <laughs> um, well, that wraps up the adventures of flat fill this time around. Stay tuned for more. Come your way. Maggie, what's on tap? Oh my gosh, so many things are on tap. Do tell. First of all, we have a big day coming up on October 25th. The biggest. The biggest day. Now. Yeah. So October 25th is going to be the day that we implement our new schedule. Well, it's going to be new to me actually, but I think it's the same schedule that you had before COVID, um, which is 9 o'clock worship, 10-10 formation hour, and 11-15 worship. Nine o'clock worship will be in person in the courtyard. There beautiful courtyard. Soulcast on location. Here we are. Maggie Foot. Um, what's what's going to happen here on Sunday? This or, Sunday. Or in, in the Sunday. Some Sunday. Uh, we have been given the green light to host our worship service in person right here in this very courtyard. Whoa. I know. It seems wild. How might that work? You may be wild. thinking to yourself because there's a lot of stuff in here. Right. Well, uh, we have had a very dedicated crew working long and hard to figure out just that question. The short answer is it's gonna be a little chaotic, but uh, God moves over chaos and creates beauty. So that's how we're gonna <laughs> think about this. Nailed it. System. 
you know, <laughs> that we're that we're gonna go for. So all right. Yeah. So what we think is gonna happen is there will be lines drawn and sort of rows created that not right there, but you'll see. And then and then people can gather in their family pods or as singles or doubles, whatever, on these uh, distance little lines. And um, check out the figs coming through here. We've got figs, folks. There will be signups for that. So um, if you, you have to sign up. So look for it in the Pathfinder, look for it um, on the website for the sign up to get um, a spot in the, in the nine o'clock worship because it is limited. Um, so that'll be in person in the courtyard. At 1010, the adult formation will continue online on Zoom as it has been. Um, children's formation will take place in person um, following the, the nine o'clock service, also in the courtyard. So if you come to it, you can stay, but if you don't come to the service, you can still come at 1010 and do children's formation in person. Um, and on that note, well, I want to continue first and I'll come, I'll circle back. Yeah. Uh, totally right 11 15 will be the live stream service. It'll be this um, similar service to what we've been doing at 10 30, just 45 minutes later. Um, so that is what's going on on yeah. October 25th and the in gathering October 25th is in gathering Sunday, which will have an in-person element. Um, the details of which will be revealed through communications coming from the church. Maybe. I don't know what they are. <laughs> uh, and so you can take these next few weeks and consider your pledge for 2021. And uh, I think the stewardship committee has gotten out all the information to you already about um, the finances for this coming year and where we are and where we're going. And if you have not received that information and would like it, you can reach out to anyone on staff and we'll connect you with um, the stewardship committee to get that information. Uh, also, circling back, youth. youth. Stay tuned for some Sunday morning youth things as well yes. in, the, in the coming weeks. And just a quick note about children's ministry. We are continuing Wednesdays at 4 o'clock with the Children's Book Club. This coming Sunday, October 18th, there will be no children's chapel in the morning. Uh, we're going to take a week off so we can prepare for the in-person, um, the way the in-person formation hour is going to work. So this Sunday, October 18th, no children's chapel on Zoom. Cool. One last note about this coming week is this Sunday after hours uh, is possibly our final All Souls jukebox. Uh, so for those of you who don't remember what this is, because it's been a little while, uh, this is a all requests uh him hour i don't know anyway send your songs your song request into jamie apgar by friday at 2 p.m if you want them in for sunday and then they'll collect some and uh play them for us on sunday afternoon after the service all right well that wraps up